everybody, this is Viperhead TV and I'm Indica Pine and today I'm going to talk about the tuberculosis virus, otherwise known as TMV. Now when I stumbled across this virus, I actually had never heard of it before and um, I didn't know if I was just a bad cannabis person or if, um, you know, a lot of cannabis growers or, you know, just people that love cannabis and know a lot about cannabis, if they've never heard of it either. So, you know, I figured I'd, you know, make a video of, of it and kind of talk about it a little bit and give some people a little bit of information. Um, the tobacco mosaic virus is one of the most common obstacles one will face when growing cannabis. Despite its name and the roots of its discovery being in tobacco, TMV can affect up to 150 different plants, mostly agricultural crop plants like, um, you know, cannabis or tobacco, hops, you know, whatever. Um, while you will see plants like how the common house plant with um, TMV, it's not uncommon for, you know, common house plants, tulips, whatever, to have TMV. It, because it does not kill the plant and it stays within the plant forever, it, it really doesn't affect them. But, of course, because TMV does not kill plants or people, but reduces the crop yield significantly and some plant growth greatly, um, if you have cannabis plants and you're trying to produce a very large yield, you're not going to get that if you have plants infected with TMV. Uh, the telltale signs of the tobacco mosaic virus are um, leaves begin to wilt and variegation begins to take place. The leaves will also feel very leathery and may even get brown splotches similar to calcium deficiency or rust. Um, another sign, and it's not a very common sign, but I've seen it, um, you'll start to see little tiny um, boils almost. Very, like you'll see a nice healthy leaf and just tiny little boils, almost look like it burnt from the inside or something. So that's another thing to look for. Um, TMV is a very strong virus. It's able to live within dead plants and in extremely hot or freezing weather. Um, it can live in, free, um, I think, temperatures below freezing um, for, I think, centuries or something. Um, it can be spread through insects. You know, if an insect carries it from one plant to another, that's one way of contaminating. Um, it can also be spread um, by touching a plant with, con with contaminated hands or by smoking contaminated tobacco, often found in generic cigarettes. The virus can also be spread by handling marijuana plants after smoking a cigarette or, you know, pipe or using any sort of tobacco pro product. You know, blunts, if you smoke a blunt and it's a generic blunt and the tobacco in that blunt just happened to have TMV, it's not your fault if you smoke that blunt and go touch a plant and get TMV. But the only way you can stop that from happening is if you just wash your hands before you touch that plant. <laughs> um, it would not be wise to just dispose of the contaminated plant. Um, one should bag it and seal it and toss it far, far away, you know, maybe in the next town or something, if, if you hate someone that much, to not just burn it or something. Um, you know, that that's probably the best way to get rid of a plant with TMV is to just burn it. Um, then you just don't have to deal with the virus in the plant anymore. Um, similar to a common cold virus, there is no cure and no way to kill TMV. The only way to prevent TMV is to maintain a sanitary, um, is to maintain sanitary conditions within the plant environment and to always make sure your shoes are off and your hands are washed and clean and sanitized and 100%, you know, contamination free before you enter the plant environment. Um, research has shown that plants grown from seed in either a pot or a bed are more susceptible to the disease during transplant. Um, Overhandling the plant at any given time during their lifetime has been proven to increase the chances of TMV. Damaged leaves or branches will also make the plant more susceptible. You know, obviously, you're lowering the immune system significantly when you accidentally break a, a leaf or branch. So that is very common. You know, you break your leg, you're more susceptible to a stomach flu. Your immune system's a little bit lower. So, um, yeah. <laughs> it would be best to grow outside. You know, that's the, the best way to main, make sure that your plants don't really, well, not really the best way to, but you know, it, it's better to grow outside than inside when handling TMV because your plants generally are a little bit healthier when grown in, you know, the prime outside environment. 
though not all of us are lucky enough to live in beautiful Humboldt or something. So, you know, it's not always an option to grow outside and have, you know, awesome grow conditions. Um, so, you know, if, if you don't have that, then it be the only way to prevent any sort of issues when growing inside and handling plants, you know, between transplant and such, would probably just be handling them with extreme care, you know, wash your hands before touching your plants, take off your shoes before you go in the gr um, grow environment, try not to, you know, pull or tug on the leaves or anything too hard, be very gentle, um, and, you know, just try to reduce the amount you touch the leaves, if it, especially if your hands aren't sterile. I, I would try to prevent touching them, um, period just to be on the safe side, but I mean, I know one would have to touch them for certain reasons, so, you know, it would probably be best to make sure your hands are sterile, probably, you know, wash them, and then use some, like, rubbing, like, alcohol, like, what is it called, Purell on your hands, and then, you know, water your hands down again so your hands aren't covered in alcohol, and then, you know, proceed with touching your plants and inspecting your, your babies. So, um, I hope this video helps some people. So, um, until next time.